isang mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat. Good day everyone. This is Brother Jonas for our Lockdown to Look Up series, your daily inspiration amid the COVID-19 day 68. And our topic for tonight about songs of praises. So let's talk about, you know, other communication, another way to worship God and to offer thanksgiving and praises is through our songs and i know that you will love our discussion tonight our bible verse is from the book of psalm 105 2 that says sing to him sing praise to him to tell his wonderful acts na miss ko kayong lahat maraming salamat ko pasensya na medyo na busy lang ko hindi yung busy talaga productive like i really need to rest sa gabi pero ngayon i'm okay na i'm fine and excited ako na miss ko kayo. <laughs> Pasensya na wala lang tayo mag-shave. But before that, I just want to share this. I hope that you are all doing great. Nakakamiss kayong lahat. Kahapon naman, nakapamasyal naman ako. And uh, so far, maraming salamat sa Panginoon. At nabigyan tayo ng pagkakataon na makapasyal sa kung saan saan lugar. Yeah, I visited churches yesterday. And uh, yun, masaya lang. Nakapagpahinga ako. Nakakita ko ng green. Maraming salamat sa mga nag-aabang. Yes, you will love our discussion tonight. Yun, makapit na. Sige. I-share ko lang, ha? Yun. <clears throat> so, aha. Uh -huh. Praise God. Thank you, Kate. Nandito na si Kate agad-agad. Yan, okay. Isang mo pagpalang gabi sa'yo. Good evening, po, Coach. Good evening din sa'yo. Ito na ang ating big message for tonight. If there's one thing that I want you to remember, okay, tonight sa ating pag-uusapan is this. Never ever stop singing praises to the one who ultimately over super duper loved you. His name is Jesus Christ. Never stop. Don't stop singing songs of praises. Don't stop glorifying the name of the Lord. Mag-stay kayo ngayon. Why? Because kakanta ako tonight. <laughs> Bigla nabawasan yung viewers. <laughs> okay, so ayusin lang natin na itong ganun ko for a while. Yes, of course. I love this. Ayun, mali pala yung speaker ko. Wala. Yan. Narinig nyo na ba ako? <laughs> Ayusin lang natin yung mic natin. Yes, I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Yon. So maraming salamat. Namiss po namin kayo. Yes, namiss ko kayong lahat. Ito na. So background lang. When I was... Ano nangyari sa aking... Wait lang. <laughs> Siya na madilim. Mm -mm. Lalong di ko siya makita nito. Oh, ay! Sinisimula na mga ganyan. So big message for tonight is never stop singing praises to the one who ultimately loves you. One of the best things that happened to me in the Sultanate of Oman is to lead the feast. It's a Catholic congregation. However, kahit preacher ako doon, nabibigyan pa rin ako ng opportunity to lead the worship. So, I, I lead the worship team, you know, I exalt the word, and I sing songs of praises. At pag kumakanta ka sa Panginoon, it doesn't matter whether <laughs> maganda ang boses or whatsoever. Alam mo yon, ang importante doon, sobrang magandang message mo. Ay, sakto, hawak-hawak ko ito. The Audience of One, this is book of um, Risa Singson Kaupeng. Ang sarap nito. Ito yung book naman para sa mga worship leaders. So, simula na natin yun. Pwede bang kumanta kayo? Okay. Announcement sa lahat, please write your favorite songs. I honor natin si Lord. The title of your song and then the singer, of course, or the band. And then, bakit mo siya paboritong kinakanto or pinapakinggan? Okay? So, yun lang. Um, hindi kompleto ang araw ko nang walang music. I just love music. Okay? I love to sing. Hindi ko pa alam kung medyo pasok na ba yung talent ko sa singing. But then, I just love to sing songs of praises. May, may playlist ako sa phone ko na 50 or 40 plus na worship songs na gustong-gusto ko lang pakinggan, na sobrang healing and all. So, I, I, I just love it. So, tonight... Ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang limang kanta. O, di ba? Kakantahan ko kayo. <laughs> di, isang lyrics lang. Ngayon, I want you to, since na-miss ko kayong lahat, saka Sunday ngayon, let's bombard the heaven right now with songs of praises, with thanksgiving, with prayer. Ready na ba kayong lahat? Okay, simulan ko na. I'll start with the first one. Five songs that I want to share tonight. Okay? My favorite songs. <laughs> Kinakabahan ako, baka mapapakanta ako dito. Ultimate, okay? Pinaka-favorite ko. Here's number one. Wow, lakas maka DJ. <laughs> first is this. This is my favorite song. This is the ultimate number one song that I love from uh, Hillsong. Title is Oceans by Hillsong. Ang nakalagay dito is, Spirit lead me where my trust is without borders. Spirit leads me where my trust is without borders. Ang ginawa ko pa dito, 
Ang ginawa ko pa dito sa 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 kanta na ito is that kinat ko yung yung sa mi last part niya yung sa bridge and then pinapa pinaplay ko lang yan ng paulit-ulit. Okay? So before tayo natin na uh, mag-meditate, kantahan ko muna kayo. <laughs> okay, the, my favorite part dito sa ocean is ito. Spirit lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander. And my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Ayun, di ba napaaganda nung kanta? I think this song is about yung tinawag ni Jesus si Peter, na parang, hey Peter, you walk on the ocean, di ba? You call me out upon the waters. Yun yung opinion ng kanta na to. So parang, Jesus is asking one of his disciples, salika dito. So I love the story because it talks about faith. Sometimes andun na eh. Sometimes andun na yung mga pangarap natin eh. Sometimes andun na yung mga gustong-gusto natin. Like consistent na tayo. We are praying for it. Yung parating na yung blessings mo, biglang bumitaw ka. And you know what? Doubts, it blocks your blessings. Envy, it blocks blessings. Doubts sa Panginoon, instead na yung blessing mo darating sa'yo, maharang siya. So I believe that ang nangyari kay Peter is that Instead na makakalakad siya ng maayos, biglang hindi siya nakarating papalapit kay Jesus. Bakit? Di ba ang question sa kanya ni Jesus doon is, why did you doubt? Bakit ka nag-doubt na hindi ka makakalakad dito sa dagat? Di ba? So, yun din sa buhay din natin. My reflection is this. It, this lyric alone, Spirit lead me where my trust is without borders. This is my ultimate prayer. Every single day. This is my best prayer. The best, the top prayer. Why? Because it talks about, you know, the... the About trust in every aspect of my life. Lord God, about my health, lead me where my trust is without borders. Yung naniniwala ko sa'yo na kahit konting you know, doubt, wala. Yung buong-buong pusong nagtitiwala ko sa'yo. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. On my finances, Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. In my relationship, Spirit, leads me where my trust is without borders. In my endeavors, my dreams, Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. I can write book, you know what? Just listening to this part of this song, Spirit, leads me where my trust is without borders, ng whole day. Paulit-ulit lang siya. And, you know, I can experience healing. I can experience trust. I can experience peace because the, the song itself says, Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Sometimes when I pray so hard that sobrang impatient ako, I, I felt like it's not coming, I, I always ask God and I question God. And if you're the one right now who is trying to question the things that God is doing in your life, the way God works in your life, I want you to hear God telling you this present moment, His words saying, why did you doubt? Why did you doubt? Don't be like, you know, Peter. <laughs> This present moment, be the new Peter who will, you know, Jesus said, walk on the water. Jesus said, work, work on these dreams. Work on your dreams. Okay? And then, have 100% faith that God is working. That God will never leave you behind the scene, you know. He can carry you, but He will not leave you. Again and again, again and again, I want to emphasize, never will come a time wherein God will leave you. In the Bible, it is written, we love because He first loved us. At kung sinabi ng Panginoon na mahal ka niya, never will come a time na mababawi yun because God will stay true to His words. God will stay true to His promise. And so if God promised that I love you even before you loved me, I made the first move of loving you, then we need to believe, we need to trust Him. God will never change. The love of God will never change. Alam mo kung bakit hindi ka masaya ngayon? Because you change. It is you. It's not God. It is not God who changed. From the very beginning, even, even before you were born, He already loved you. He promised a lot of things. Even the hair on your hair. The hair on your head are numbers. Numbered, di ba? <laughs> the hairs on your head are numbered. Ayun. So, sobrang mahal ka ng Panginoon. Again, my, this song, it's all about trusting God in every aspect of your life. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. Because doubt blocks blessings. Doubt blocks blessings. Okay? 
Napakasimple lang ito. Doubt, they blocks, blessings. So please, stay, stay true sa promise ng Panginoon. Okay? I received a message from a friend who asked me, who told me, okay lang ba magalit ako sa Panginoon? Why? What's your right? Okay lang ba magalit ako sa Panginoon? Bakit? Anong ginawa sa'yo ng Panginoon? Kasi hindi niya binibigay yung gusto ko eh. Ibalik ko sa'yo yun. Hindi sa hindi binibigay ng Panginoon yung gusto mo. You know why you are not happy now? Because you are following what you want. You are not following God's will in your life. Learn to obey Him. Learn to obey God. How dare you, di ba? Getting angry towards God. Makinig ka sa Kanya. Kung hindi ka masaya ngayon, hindi siya ang may problema. Ulitin ko ha. Kung hindi ka masaya ngayon, it's not about God. It is about you. Change your perspective. Listen to God. He is speaking to you. Listen in the deepest, you know, part of your heart. Obey God. Parang baliktad. Ikaw yung gumawa ng mga maling decision, tapos sisisihin mo siya. Why is that? Is that even fair? No. Di ba? Para ikaw yung nag-decision, ikaw gumawa ng lahat ng kalokohan na yan. Nag-addict ka, nag-drugs ka. Tapos sisisihin mo ang Panginoon. Anong kinalaman niya doon? <laughs> From the very beginning, he, wala namang inutos ang Panginoon na masama. Ah. Di ba? Go back to Him. And trust Him. Okay, that's number one. Babasahin ko lahat ng mga kanta nyo. Perfect. Thank you so much for that. Yes, number two. I hope that you are you know, enjoying tonight. I'm so giggle as well. So number two is all about You Never Let Go. This is the second song that I love. You Never Let Go by... Uh, ang pangalan nito? Uh, <laughs> si... Iyon, nakita na natin. Matt Redman. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And you know what? This is also one of my favorite Bible verses. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I know that you're experiencing tough times. I know that you are on your valleys now wondering whether you can go through it, whether you can pass through it. And from the word it's written, even though I walk through the valley, you will only walk. You will not stay there. If you're experiencing your hard times now, know that we live in, in, in seasons. After that heartbreak, after that bankruptcy, there will be new things that will come. Just trust God that even though you walk through the valley of the shadows of death, you will not fear anything. You will not fear anything because God is with you. Okay, can I sing the lyric of the song? <laughs> And I will fear no evil for my God is with me. And if my God is with me, whom then shall I fear? Whom then shall I fear? I, I love this song. Because God will never let go. Sinong bumitaw? Ulitin ko ha. Please, I want to remind you. Hindi ka binitawan ng Panginoon. Hindi ka binitawan ng Panginoon. Eh, sino brother ang bumitaw? Ikaw. I, I, I experienced that. Hindi mo kasi alam. No, of course not. I left God. I abandoned God. And at this present moment, I know for a fact that He did not abandon me. I abandoned Him. I left God during the hard moment of my life, the toughest moment of my life, I left him. And nung iniwan mo siya, brother, naging masaya ka ba? No! I, would, I, I don't want to go back to that place here, 2012, to that time and you know, place and moment of my life wherein I abandoned God because I walked through the valley. Because I'm, I am walking in the valley of the shadow of death and I abandoned him. God is giving all the grace. God is giving all the help, the love. But I... You know, denounce everything. I rejected His love. Yeah, ginawa mo yun. Yes, I did that. I rejected the love of God. I, I just love it. Okay? <laughs> you never let go by Matt Redman. Oh, no. You never let go through the calm and through the storm. Diba? Yun yun. I love that. Sige. Number three na tayo. Alam ko, marami pa akong kakantahin yung mga sinend ninyo. So, number three. Okay? Okay, you will love this. Number three. Yes, thank you so much for for your comments. Ala, walang singer kung sino man ito. O, basta pakihanap na lang. No longer a slave. Ba't mali pa? Slaves pang nilagay ko. Okay, ay, slaves naman pala talaga. Bethel Music ba siya? Uh -huh. Sinong kumanta? Uh, Jonathan David, the original one. Bethel Music. Ayun. So, no longer a slaves. 
I love this song. If if you know this, nako. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears are gone. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. But come at a You're a child of God. You are a child of the one who created the universe, the galaxies. Hindi ka pipitsugi na nila lang because the one who created you is the Lord of everything, the King of Kings. So why you will be afraid? Okay, fear. You know, fear will stop us from living our highest potentials. Fear will stop us from achieving our big dreams. Fear will stop us from living the kind of life that God wants you to have. There is already a blueprint within you. God wants you to become successful. God wants you to become successful. And if you're living in fear, fear of you know, fear of success, fear of failure, you'll never go far. You are a child of God. I am no longer a slave to fear because I'm a child of God. And if you're a child of God, you know what's accompanying rights, birth, right? You are bound to become successful because God created you. The most powerful, you know, the ever-loving God, the God who sacrificed Eve and His Son, who died on the cross. You know, pinupuri mong Panginoon. So whenever I, I encounter a person who is so afraid, is devastated, I always ask him or her this question: Who is the God that you worship? What is the what is your image of God? Do you worship a God who did not listen, who do not listen? Do you worship a God who is timid and who doesn't care? But if you worship a God who is the most powerful, then why are you are afraid? Then why you are very much afraid now in your finances? Why you are afraid with so many things in your career? You are afraid. Oh, may tanggalan na nakakatakot. Ay nako, may COVID. Yung takot mo sobra sobra. You are no longer a slave to fear because you are a child of God. You are a child of God. From my mother's womb, you have chosen me. Love has called my name. I've been born again to a family. Your blood flows through my veins. The blood that's flowing inside your veins, the same blood of God. He has created you in his own image and likeness. If you want to see God, look at yourself. Check that mirror. That's God. That's the face of God. You are God's lookalike. You are God's lookalike. Okay, that's number three. Mag overtime yata tayo. <laughs> Maraming gusto sabihin eh. Okay, number four. You love this song. Number four. Ayan. Ito yung lately ko lang na discover na sobrang gusto gusto ko talaga siya. As in LSS talaga ako dito sa kanta na to na paulit ulit, paulit ulit hindi ko siya tinitigilan. And um, oh shout out pala. I wanna say shout out sa ating worship. Uh, team ng The Feast Oman. Hello there. Kay Abigail, kay Ate Chi, kay Terry. Sino pa ba? Kaya uh, Christina, Sanchez, uh, worship teams, kay Bess, <laughs> si Julie, Falik, and uh, sino pa ba? Lahat ng mga naging member ng past music ministry ng The Feast Oman. Yes, Who You Say I Am by Hillsong. At syempre, hindi ako papayag na hindi ko ito kakantayin. <laughs> Di ba? Game. Who the sun sets free, oh, is free I'm a child of God, yes, I am. Oh, diba? <laughs> Who the sun sets free, who is free indeed. I'm a child of God, yes, I am. Claim that, affirm, okay, I'm a child of God. I am who you say I am. When God asked Peter, who are you? Okay? And then, I am who you say I am. God is saying, kung sa tingin mo, ito yun, who you say I am, is you are experiencing so many problems at this present moment because the God that you worship is different from the real God. Because the real God that we all worship is the omnipotent, the ever-loving, the source of all richness, the God of prosperity, the God of many chances. I want to ask you, Okay? God is, you know, Jesus is just in front of you. 
Maricela Rizabal, okay, who you say I am will be me. Kung anong, anong tingin mo sa akin, then that's it. From the very beginning, I already decided to give all the love to you. From the very beginning, I already decided all the resources. It's not about God. It is about you. From the very beginning, He already decided. He has already that blueprint. You're a child of God. Why you are happy now? Because you change your image of God. You change the image of God. Yes. You are experiencing scarcity now. Why? Because you doubt that God has unlimited blessings, that, that God has an ocean of blessings. Imagine that. You doubt that God has an unlimited factories of blessings. You are devastated now in your life because you believe that God is not working in your life. You start it within you. In your mindset, God will never do anything to me. You, I, my, my marriage is already devastated. My love life is already devastated and all the sorts of things. You started it that way. Then you will receive it. That's why God is telling you, who you say I am will be me. Who you say I am. There's no doubt that I love you. But how can I bless you if you are not receiving the blessings that I want to give you? How can I bless you if you are close? How can I bless you if you are, you know, if you close, if you are envious, if you are doubting? Doubt will kill your blessings. Envy will kill your blessings. And you will only receive that blessings when you believe that God is really working. Again, I want to remind you who you say I am. God is telling you who you say I am will be me. If you claim that you are a child of God, if you welcome me as your father, then you will receive all my blessings. Basic. You don't need to think for the complicated solution. You you sit now, you try to offer, okay, God, control me, consume me. I am your child. I believe in you. From now on, I will listen to you. I, I'm just wondering, people who are blaming God because of their personal decision, it's not God. It's about you. It's about you. God did not wreck your message, uh, your, your marriage. God did not bring you to that accident. No, He will not do that. You did it because you're deaf. <laughs> you are not obeying him. And it's not even the, the sanction or consequence. It's God is not giving you all the bad consequences. No, that's the consequence of your own action. God loves you. There's no doubt. And last but not the least, okay? Medyo na papaus na ako. <laughs> okay lang ba tayo? Pasensya na kayo. Kinoconcertan ko kayo tonight kasi namiss ko kayo. Dalawang araw yata ako din lockdown Number five that I love is What a Beautiful Name by Hillsong. And the lyrics, What a Beautiful Name. It is nothing compares to to this. O diba? Napakaganda ng kanta na to. I just love it. And... Um, Every time we, we have our worship uh, during the time of, of the feast, I'm just crying. You know? Hindi lang obvious sa mata, pero talagang deep in it when we were, we were singing this song. You were the word at the beginning One with God the Lord most high You hidden glory in creation now revealed in you our Christ. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ my King. Kanda noon? Imagine if you're experiencing tough times and then you're listening to this. Hindi yung boses yung maganda. <laughs> yung lyrics ng kanta. What a beautiful name by Hillsong. And the name above all name, the name that we should worship, his name is Jesus Christ. And I want you, okay, to play this song, especially during times wherein you are lost, and you, during times wherein you think that you're alone. Okay, God loves you. Our big message for tonight is this, okay? Overtime na pala ako. Sing to him, uh, not this one. This is our Bible verse. Sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of all his wonderful acts. And of course, our big message, never stop singing praises to the one who ultimately loves you. Can I request everyone to just close your eyes? I want you to feel God's embrace at this present moment. 
I want you to be grateful. Can you just release energy of gratitude? Like, continue telling God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything. Just keep thanking God. Bombard the heaven right now with gratitude. You are worshiping an omnipresent, omnipotent God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for your Holy Spirit working in our lives. Three of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. We worship you. We glorify you. We honor you. You are our God and Savior. You are our Father, our Daddy, our Abba. Thank you, Jesus, for tonight. Thank you for the moving of your Holy Spirit. Yes, we felt you. We experienced you. Thank you for making this very moment the sweetest conversation with you. Lord God, it doesn't matter if you have voices or good voices or not. We will keep on singing praises because you deserve to be glorified. You are our Lord. Thank you for everything that you are doing in our lives. Lord God, I just want to lift to you the lives of each and every person who's watching at this present moment. I pray, Lord God, that you send the melody of faith and allow it to stay inside their heart so that they will sing with you. They will sing in obedience. They will sing in love. They will sing in praises and thanksgiving, never forgetting your greatness, your goodness. Thank you, Lord God, that you are working. Thank you that you are chasing after us. Thank you that you are embracing us every time we slip away from you. Lord God, teach our hearts to believe that from the very beginning, you already decided to love us. Never will come a time that you abandon us. Removing our hearts, the doubts, the envy, and fill it with faith and praises that you are working behind the scene. Even if we don't feel that you are there, even if sometimes we feel that you are not there, teach our hearts to believe that you are carrying us, that during our, the deepest moment of our lives, that's a time that you are working double time, giving your very best to help us. Thank you, Jesus, for your blessing. We love you, Lord God. I pray, Lord, that you bless the different areas of the lives of these people. Kung sino man dito ang nahihirapan, nalulungkot, umiiyak, Panginoon, can you embrace them? Pakiyakapin mo sila, Panginoon, ng maigpit so that they will, they will find light in you. Thank you, Lord God, for all the great things that you are doing sa buhay ng mga ito. Pinapanalain ko, Lord God, na biyayaan mo sila sa kanilang kalusugan. Keep them safe and healthy. I pray, Lord God, that you bless them abundantly. You're a God of prosperity. Teach their hearts that you will provide. That in times of scarcity, you will provide. In times of luck, you will prosper them. Thank you, God, for everything that you are doing. I even pray and bless their dreams, the dreams inside their hearts, whatever it is, Panginoon, bagong negosyo, umuwi ng Pilipinas, bagong endeavors, additional studies, kahit ano pang pangarap yan, Panginoon, I pray that you sanctify it. We are offering it to you, Lord God. And Lord Jesus, despite our brokenness, our sinfulness, our weaknesses, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. This present moment, Lord God, we just want to offer a special prayer for the pandemic. Na sana matapos na ito, Panginoon. I pray, Lord God, that you spare us sa danger ng COVID na ito. I pray that the scientists will discover the vaccine, the cure. We will not stop praying, Lord God, until one day that you grant that we will experience your power and your mercy. Pero kung hindi pa tapos ang pandemic, Panginoon, I pray and we pray that you teach our hearts to trust you, to believe that you are in control. And lastly, Panginoon, all the blessings that we have, itong buhay na ito, binigyan mo pa kami ng isang araw na mabuhay ulit to have this life. This is your biggest gift to us. Dagdagan pa, Panginoon, ng mababait na mga kaibigan, ng mga tao sa buhay namin. Dagdagan pa, Panginoon, ng komportable ng tahanan, ng resources, pagkain, money, and all the material things that we have. Thank you, Jesus. Ikaw ang source ng lahat ng ito. And so we just want to honor you. And we just want to bring back everything. All the glory, all the praises, all the songs, all the thanksgiving, all the exaltation. 
through the most powerful name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. We have the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Palakpakan na may kasamang sigawan dahil overtime tayo, 30 minutes lang dapat. Pero, good evening po, Coach. Sabi ni Kate, our baby, our youngest author ng Batch 4, isang mapagpalang araw sa'yo. Thank you so much. Mary Rosil Manangan, sana ulanin ka pa ng walang kapusang biyay at pagpapala. Thank you for tuning in. And of course, uh, isa sa mga pinaka ganun natin active na, na graduate ng Write Your Legacy. Magandang gabi po, Coach. Namiss namin kayo. Salamat at nakapag-rest kayo. Mas namiss kita. Don't worry, tuloy-tuloy ng pahinga kasi patapos na yung one-on-one -on -one ko. Siyam na lang ang kulang. Magagawa ko na yung mga gusto kong gabi relax. Sabi ni... Maricel Rizabal from Oman, the song coach. I'm forever grateful. Yes, thank you, Ocean. See you on. Magandang gabi at mapagpalang gabi sa lahat at sa you, Brother Jonas. Shen Ash Toralba from the Mom, Saudi Arabia. Thank you so much for tuning in. Our friend from the Sultanate of Oman, I'm forever grateful by Dawn Man. Is still by Hillsong Life Praise Song. Yeah, yeah, Hillsong. I love that too. Favorite ko yan. Sabi ng ating author from Mountain Province, Jane Diasen. Singing here, Coach. Hehe. Sing praises to God. Sing His holy name, offering Him our joyful heart, joining in endless praise. Makikinig dengga ako sa yung Coach. Hahaha. Makinig ka kay Lord. Hindi sa akin. Glorious ruins. Oh, I. Bama yai. The download ko lahat ng mga ito. Glorious ruins by Hillsong. Yeah, of course. And sabi ni Ifer na sa Baloman. I'm forever grateful by Don Men Steel. When the oceans rise and thunders roar, yeah, Ocean by Hillsong, God's Love, ah, song palito ni Patricia Gozan, shout out kay author Pat, and Waymaker, yeah, favorite din natin to, Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Sealer. Man in the darkness, my God, yeah, I love that too. Okay, I love it also, Rose Dilia. Okay, sige. Mabuti pa yung oceans, minamahal. <laughs> okay, sabi niya Maricela Rizabaloma, nakakamiss gumawa ng line-up for worship. Yeah, okay, worship leader pala to. Si Maricela Rizabal, worship leader yan sa church din nila. Good job. Hello, blessed Sunday, everyone. Carpe Leogo Dizon, our spiritual squad and member from Canada. Wow, Canada. Sa Quebec siya. So, isa pa pagpalang araw sa'yo. Highest glory to the living God of Israel. Praise God, Palma Royal Cuisine. Okay? Kung sino ka man, <laughs> pagpalain ka pa. Yes, let's worship God. Namiss ka namin, Coach. Mas namiss ko kayong lahat. We just don't know. I really love to do this every night. Pero may mga, yun lang, one-on-one, -on -one, ganyan. Pero I will try my very best. Okay? Next, so true, sabi ni, you never let go. Sabi ni, na-energize na naman ako. Iba to pag na-energize si Ar <laughs> Maricela Rizabal. Kinakabahan ako eh. Whom shall I fear? Wala, wala ka dapat katako, okay? Beautiful asses by Mid-Cities Worshiping. Hindi ka susukuan ng Diyos kahit na ikaw ang pinakamasamang tao sa mundo. Ano eh? Beautiful asses, yeah, okay? I love that too. Sige. God's loves. Okay, sabi ni Lauren Arevalo. Ito lang po ang alam ko at love ko. As, ay nako, nasa playlist ko siya. As the deer panteth for the water so my soul longer after thee. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship thee. Walang pa ka nung may kasamang sigawan. I love this too. Promise, meron akong ask the dear sa phone ko. Oo. Piniplay ko lagi yan. Thank you. Uy, Abigail, I miss you. Super love this topic. God bless Kamsat. Shout out kay Abigail Viloria Cacas from the Sultanate of Oman. And of course, sa mga kaibigan ni Rose Dilia Precious May Paragison, Jen. Jesse Dumali, Iris Claire, pagpalain pa kayong lahat. May you be blessed abundantly. I love this evening, grabe. I love as well this evening. <laughs> Claim it with affirmation. I'm a child of God. You are a child of God. Claim it. Sabi ni Jane Dynasen, praise and worship concert na Coach of Authors. Yes! <laughs> Siyempre, talaga naman. Oh. Oy, I raise my alleluia. Yung maganda rin, I raise my alleluia even in the middle of my storm. I love this too. Napaka-active ka gabi. Grabe. Nako. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi nga nag-fern active ako, okay? Kung may orders kayo, kung kailangan nyo ng fern di, fern active, i-message nyo lang ako. Wow! Nag-plug. Ayan. Sabi ni Kate, my all-time favorite song of praise po is Still by Hillsong. Yeah, same is true. Ah, kinanta ko na to kanina. Uh -uh. When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will show with you above the storm. 
Father, you are king over the flood. And I will be still, know you are God. I love this. I remember asking my father to explain the thought of the song. God is our Redeemer. 14 years old pala tong si Kate. He is our salvation and reliever. With His presence, we are protected from immoral actions or other things that are against with God. He is our home where we can escape from evil things. Ang ganda nito, Kate. I love this. Praise God. And of course, sabi ni Ati Maricel, praise God and hallelujah. Yes, of course. Hi, Michelle Magapuro. It's been a while. How are you? Yes, I, I forgot to send a message. Hope you are doing great sending prayers okay pagpalain ka pa ng panginoon so i for nation of authors <laughs> okay so maraming 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 salamat po sa lahat ng sumama sa akin sa gabing ito shout out sa inyong lahat pagpalain pa kayong lahat hope to see you again tomorrow remember na sobrang nagpapasalamat ako sa pagtutok na miss ko kayong lahat thank you for tuning in i'm forever grateful for the love for the trust and for the support And let's nourish our spirit and join hands in prayer that this pandemic will soon end. Again, this is your Locked Out to Look Up series. Isa pa pagpalang gabi sa inyong lahat. I love you all. Bye-bye. You are all loved. Thank you. Bye-bye.